making the pads for it. Making the pads for it. Mm -hmm. So once we get this all welded up, then that's pretty much everything with the cage other than the door bars in, right? Unless you're buying a fiberglass dash off Larry. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think he's only got one right now, and I'll probably just put that one well, together. will sell that next weekend. The one that he had there yesterday, it was already sold. Was it? Yeah. It went with all that stuff laying there in the floor. Some guy from Texas is coming to get all that stuff. Some people's got to work for a living. They don't get to run around and play like that. <laughs> what do you mean? You guys on a field trip yesterday. Oh, I was working. You see me running the camera? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's my new hobby. Is that your new hobby? Isn't it? Right. So, you know, them dashes are nice. Yeah, I've mean, yeah. seen them in here. I mean, that was. He was talking about them there last time I talked to him about making them. Yep. Yeah. It'd be nice to save a little bit of weight, but. That'd be the only thing on this car that's fiberglass other than the scoop in the front bumper. I probably will. I'm going to get it worked around, see what it's put it on there and get my brackets made up for it. But So, so we don't need to run no down bars with that motor plate no, I got. That motor plate character running, if you run one like the one I got in my car, I'm put the bars down too. Because right. so that's only got them little. So we'll just have like two bookcase ends yeah. or to set on. All right, well, we'll get these here, burn in here, and we'll come back here in a minute. So we're gonna grind the frame, and then we're gonna weld them tabs and burn the bars in. There's a few people commented on how them turned out going through the firewall, so it looked really good where they cut and so they were pretty pretty good looking. Laser too. Yeah, if you're watching this, uh, Bigfoots and Mopars, uh, I read your message about uh, going to that No Name Nationals, No Name Mopar Nationals, but uh, where is that even at? I mean, if it's not too far away, we might think about coming to that, but we just don't, we, we don't know where it's at, so uh, maybe just let us know on that.
little angle grinder. Yeah. Uh, Get him over the wall. We'll be right back. Yeah. 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 Cut that and that to be on an angle and a, you say there's three three layers underneath right there that air box and shit. Bit, but yeah, it's going through three different things there. Chip. So what would this technically be now with them? Would this be a 14 point cage? I don't know, start counting. I mean, I've got some more bars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know. I never counted it out. I think it's. Oh, yeah, we're... yeah, 14. Yeah, it's still 14. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know when they do the. Start that certification stuff at Kill Care, but listen here, it was certified for eight fifty. I know it would have. I built a bunch of them like that and every one of them certified for Well if it'll go ten fifties I'd be happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it'll ever see any anything about the age, but I'd say with the the three eighty three we're putting in it. I bet it'd probably. A couple more points for it. I bet it'd probably only be maybe run mid twelves, low twelves. I'm thinking. I just don't know. I don't know what that motor is. If run fourteen O's. I'd still take it. Right? Oh, I'm going to. Whatever it is, it's just <laughs> what it is. I mean, it. Or you can spend all summer videoing me, buddy. Nah. <laughs> but. I mean, it'd probably, it'd probably be somewhere in the 13s or 12 or 13s. I don't see it. I don't see it going in the 11s. With that gear and stuff, I mean, that yeah, gear's going to hurt with you. With a 31 toll tire and a 410. If you drop it down to 29, 28, it'll be yeah. 28, 10, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, if, it, if it'd get if it get in the 12s, I'd be surprised. But it, surely it would run in the 13s, I'd hope. Oh, yeah. It goes 13s. I mean, hell, my a duster, it run 14s with that bone stock 400 in it, and it wasn't, it wasn't shit. It had 200,000 miles on it. Yeah, with my a, buddy John up in Mount Orb had a 71 440 six-pack. Barracuda I thought was the fastest thing on earth and he took a track three different times. He tried a 1406, a 1403, and a 1403. Yep. He was the baddest thing on the planet. Yeah, they feel fast till you get that time <laughs> ticket. Like, wait a minute, this can't be right. It's a 410 four speed car. Man. Yeah, that, that duster, I mean, that motor in that wagon. On oh, my grandpa's wagon, I know that thing had it had over two hundred thousand miles on it. Cause I remember. Well, it had three gallons of water in it before you put it in there. Yeah, I pulled it out, <laughs> set it out in the yard, and after I pulled the intake off, it was so crusty down in the valley trail. I was like, "Fuck it, I'm not running this. I'm not running this, mother. I'll go find me a four forty. What was it? Twenty years old. Yeah, about that. And <laughs> let it sit out there for three weeks in the rain, uncovered. 
And then I couldn't find no other motor, so I went out there one day and pumped all the water out of it and it vacuumed all the crud out of it. And that was the best running, I mean, for maintenance free motor, that thing was just, you could. We drove back Fort Columbus and everywhere, 391 gears. I drove it every day, reverse manual valve body and a 391 gear. Well, there was a converter out of the station wagon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> stock converter. Didn't have to, didn't, never did have to do anything to that motor. Never dripped no ones, oil. Never. The ones you never have to do that. Never leaked, never smoked, never did nothing. But, like I say, we run it and it was, best I ever got out was 1402 at 98 mile an hour. It, I think you got a 99 once, but 98 and 1402 was all it would run. Back here, so that's 10 grand and three passes. <laughs> yeah. So surely that three to three is a little more, and that was the stock camshaft and everything that was in that four hundred, and it had a cast iron three to three intake. I can't. That thing didn't have a whole lot of miles on it, did it? Huh? That car didn't have a whole lot of miles on it, did it? The car, the duster? No, the wagon. Oh yeah, the wagon had over two hundred some thousand. Oh, I rode in that wagon when I was five years old. Oh, that's right. That's the one that sat there in the, the blue one. Yeah, yeah, the blue one. Okay, yeah, yeah. That yeah. son of a bitch had a million miles on it. He was going to junk it, and I bought it off of him. I was like, oh, no, I want that. Is that the one your dad didn't drive all out of for a while? No. No, that was the 75 New Yorker. Yeah, yeah it was a big deal. It had a 440 in it. Yeah. yeah, I remember your dad. I couldn't afford to drive that gas all when I had it. That's why he ended up, well, he drove the shit out of that thing. Yeah, I know. You've done two or three jobs for us, and that's what he was working out of. Yeah. Had that thing loaded down, squatting on the ground, <laughs> coming in there, just bouncing. Yeah. The plates tucked in place, and I'm pulling doors back out of there and weld that in. All right, well, get a few tacks on this, and we'll come back and take a look at it. Sounds like bacon. We got the pads welded in. So we're getting ready to weld the bars in. So you gonna weld down here first or in there I'll first? Or tack just tack it first and then. Yeah, yeah it looks it looks good going through the firewall. Yeah. All right, we'll get these bars. Well, man, and uh, I'm gonna check it out. Things ain't burning in good. It don't be too bad.
Front's burning. Uh huh? The front's burning. Got a little bit on the dash. And I'm ready for the dash. Well, we got the bars all welded in. Hood hinges back on. We're going to open and close with no problem. So the hood will be hinged again. And then uh, I got the dash sitting back in it. I'm going to do a little trimming on on the corner pieces but we got it all back in it there's the crossbar going under the dash it's the bars are well trim this piece here up i'm gonna cut it slice it and notch it before it fits all back in there the only part was even even cut through that but, but yeah The bars are tucked up pretty nice up against the A-pillar so they're not in the way of getting in and out. I mean, you can't even, you don't even see the bar from the A-pillar. Yep. Yeah. yeah, the door bars, they're ready to, ready to go. I'm just leaving them out till we get everything, but they're fitted and ready to be welded. So... We just gotta get the get this stuff under the dash and all that, and then we'll put them them door bars in last. But I'm happy how the the cage turned out and under the hood and the dash back in it. We still got a little tweaking to do on it and get the cluster hang a bell run the cluster crap in it. We'll put the faceplate on it, get a removable steering wheel, just get it cleaned up and painted. And it's it'll turn out pretty good. So get that piece there notched and. Be back in there but just want to give you into another little shot of what we're doing on this so maybe tomorrow we might work on that dash a little bit and but until then we'll we get the front bars in and dash somewhat in it so but we just want to give you a quick update and uh just keep liking sharing and subscribing and uh we'll be back tomorrow mm -hmm.